Welcome back to my next playthrough series. This time we're going back to Zombie Side Black Play. We're going to be doing Quest 7 Dead Trail. And uh, we're going to be going, playing with Baldrick, Nelly, Anne, who we're completely familiar with at this point. And we've got a couple of new characters that are going to be joining us, uh, which is this one right here. And he is called Miser. And we also have a short little character, feisty little uh, dwarven looking lady called Glinda, I do believe. So, just to recap quickly, Nellie has a free move action as her initial starting thing. She's starting with a hammer. Baldrick, of course, has spell casting. He can, he can do one spell casting free action per turn. He has mana blast. We have Anne, who has the bloodlust melee. She can move up to two spaces into the spot with a zombie and attack at the same time. She's starting off with a short sword. Let's take a quick look now at the other two, Miser and Glinda. Alright, so if we take a look at Miser here, he's going to be starting with Mana Blast. His special ability is he has plus one free magic action. What is a magic action? It is casting a combat spell. So it's not an enchantment action, uh, which is using like healing spells and stuff. He gets a free uh, combat spell action, which he has, of course, equipped to the Mana Blast. Now, that's different than uh, Baldrick. Baldrick gets a free spell casting action, which he can cast any spell at all. Miser here is limited to just the, the attack spells. All right, let's take a look at Glinda. And rounding out our five-person <laughs> attack force, we have Glinda. And she's starting, of course, with a hammer. She has the tough ability, and what tough means is she can ignore the first wound by a single zombie every zombie turn. So basically, she gets to ignore one wound, and one wound only. All right. With that said, let's uh, zoom back out and let's get into uh, the dead trail objectives and see what we're supposed to be doing. All right, so if we take a look at Quest 7 Dead Trail, it's a medium, uh, six survivors, we're playing with five. We always have played with five so far. Uh, it says, there is no way we can get any further unnoticed. That's good for my fingers are itching for some zombie bashing and I was getting tired of walking on tiptoe. There are dark signs and symbols on the walls here. The necromancers are hanging around. We don't know what kind of ritual they're performing, but we'll try to make it fail. Let's see what happens if we destroy these wicked scriptures. Fortunately, this is the Foundry District. These orc weaponsmiths seem to know their job pretty well. New toys! Alright, what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to hinder the ritual. Uh, here is the plan. Uh, we have to ruin the ritual. We have to destroy the MPS scriptures by taking all objectives. Okay, we have to take all the objectives, all of them, <laughs> and there's one, two, three, four, there's six of them out on the board, can't quite see all of them. We have to take them all, that's going to screw up the rituals. And then we have to get the two artifacts out of the vaults. We have two vaults in the game. Uh, I put a blue bead on the doors here because we have to take certain things. So uh, we need to take the blue and green objectives which are hidden. Uh, randomized underneath these X objective markers. Um, and the way we do that, so both vault doors can't be open, so that's why I put the beads on them, until a blue objective has been taken. So the violet doors, there's one in this corner, there's one down here that you can't quite see. We need to find the blue token uh, underneath these to be able to open that vault door. And the single yellow vault door can't be open until we find the green objective. That's basically it. That's it in a nutshell. So we have to take all objectives. Okay, we have to take all objectives. We have to get the two vault items. And we have to get to the exit, which is way up here, which you can't quite see. So if we can do all of that <laughs> successfully, we will win the scenario. And yes, of course, I have the 3D doors uh, set that I got. And I have the plastic token uh, set as well, in case you were wondering about that. We do have four spawn points on this, uh, this game. It's going to be tough. We all start right down here. Uh, and I guess without further ado, we're going to start off. We're starting. The turn order is going to be Nelly, Baldrick for this round. Nelly, Baldrick, and then we're going to have Miser go, and then Glinda. And then at the end of that entire turn, of course, we have the zombie turn, and we have the zombie spawn turn. And then when we come back in our next episode, Baldrick will be starting off. So every time we shift one down on the turn. All right. Dead trail let's begin starting off with nelly all right so nelly is uh where is nelly nelly is right here in the green 
she has a free move action, so she's going to move right here. Why is she moving right here? Because she wants to smash open the door. Now everyone gets three actions on their turn, of course, we know this. So we're going to get out the dice tray, we're going to roll up one die. Her hammer hits on a four plus. So for her first action, she's trying to bash open this door. And she rolls a six. Kablam! The door is busted open. Uh, and with the busted open door, we have a lot, and I mean a lot, of zombies to spawn. So I'm going to back the camera out. That is a really massive location, so let's get to it. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine locations to spawn at. Of course, everyone's in the blue zone. Nobody has killed, uh, got any experience or done anything yet. So the first, we're going to start here and work. Work our way across the bottom, cross, cross, and then up. All right, the first location is a double spawn. So the, this point, oh god, yes, a double spawn. I forgot about that. We're gonna have a double spawn here. Uh, so we're gonna get a runner, a runner already. Oh wow. Okay, so we get one runner. So that's a single spawn there. We do have one more spawn to go. Location, uh, and uh, okay. Well, at least the necromancer shows up close. Wow, this is going to be brutal. All right, so we have a necromancer spawn point here with, of course, a necromancer, and he comes with a handy dandy extra spawn. All right, so what, what does he come with? <laughs> we have to check this out. He comes with a walker. Okay, he comes with one walker. So we got a walker, runner, and a necromancer here right now. <sighs> okay, next spot. <laughs> Jeez, this is going to be ridiculous. Another, okay, another necromancer. Which means the necromancer is going to activate. He's going to try to get. Well, he's going to try to get through the door. So he's going this way. So he's kind of exposed, which is actually pretty good, because uh, he's going to try and make his way to the uh, spawn point and get off the board. So that's actually not bad. Oh boy! So that was this. Now we got. I'm going to do this one right here. We have a walker over there. Okay. Oh my goodness! A walker here. In the big, long room here. We have a runner. I'm getting a lot of runners. Okay, to start off with runners are can be a little problematic. Then we're gonna go here and then here. Sorry, lots of spawning going on. I know nothing in sight. Good, good. Oh boy. The next room over, no one. Here, I'm sure I'm flashing the cards very quickly. Then we have the last two, this one and then the other objective spot with two walkers showing up here. Alright. One, two, it's not so bad. Two walkers, and the very last objective site. We have one walker. All right, all right, and I'm using the um, dead eye walkers as well. So we have one walker. There. Actually, not not horrific. All right, um, Nelly still has two actions remaining. So let's go back to her. All right, Nelly has two actions remaining. She's going to do a move action. Hello, Mr. Necromancer, and for her final action. Uh, she is going to try and attack the Necromancer with her hammer. She needs a 4 plus to take him out. And she gets a 5. Nicely done. The Necromancer is smoked off the board. Uh, and we do have an option. We can get rid of the Necromancer spawn point, or we can get rid of any other spawn point on the board if we want to. Uh, but I think we will just go ahead and get rid of the Necromancer spawn point right now because we've killed the necromancer. All right, that's the end of Nellie's turn. Uh, she has finished going. Up next is Baldrick. All right, bumbling Baldrick. He's got, of course, three actions and a free spellcaster action. He's going to go one, two in here with Nellie. And that's two actions. He basically has a free spellcaster and another action. So he's going to try using his mana blast to shoot into here. Of course, we're going to hit the walker first. The runner is dodging around, so let's see if Baldrick can do it. Mana Blast hits on a 4+, plus with 1 damage. <laughs> and Baldrick, true to form, right off the bat, absolutely blows it. He has one action remaining. That was his free spell casting. He's going to try that again. And he gets a 2. <laughs> oh my goodness. Baldrick, Baldrick, 
Baldric. That is the end of Baldric's turn. Oh my good lord. Up next we have Anne going. Let's see if she can do a little bit better. Oh dear, I don't think we're starting off very well. I'm not doing very well. Okay, Anne has Bloodlust Melee, so she can move her first action, she can move here. For her second action, she can use Bloodlust Melee. So she's going to go 1, 2 right here. and gets an attack. She'll still have an action left after that. So there we go. All right, let's see. She's got a short sword. She's doing her Bloodlust Melee. She needs to hit on a 4 plus, And she rolls a 1. All right, she has one action left. She's going for the runner, uh, and she gets a six. All right, and nicely done. So she ran, ran in there, stumbled a little bit, but did take out the runner. Oh, and I forgot, yes, uh, Nellie should get one experience for taking out the Necromancer, and Anne just got one experience for taking out the runner. All right, that was Anne's turn. She's finished. Up next, we have Mizar. Miser, yes, so we're going to have him go. He is here. He's got the free combat casting ability. Uh, I'll have to do a little bit of thinking of what we want to do for him. All right, I think what we're going to do for him is he's just going to go one, two. Now, we could cast a spell in here, but if he does not hit this zombie, he's going to hit hand for a damage. And I think we're not going to do that. I think for his third action, he's just going to go ahead and do a search. So we just grab the top card off the search deck, and he finds plenty of bolts. Okay, he'll stick that in his backpack for later. The question is, do we want to try a free spell cast? A combat. He could do his mana blast in here. He has to hit it. It's a 50-50 chance. He either hits Anne, or he takes out the zombie. And I think we're just going to leave it. Um, we're just going to leave it. I'm not going to have him do that, because I don't want to give and a damage. Up last then, we do now have uh, Glinda uh, with the hammer. She's got three actions. Uh, she's tough. So we're going to use her tough ability. She's going to go one, two, three. She's going to go in here with Anne. Uh, and now she's basically in here with a zombie. But we know what's nice. She's tough. She can ignore the first damage taken by a single zombie. And that's what we're going to do. All right, so we adjust the camera, and we're going to have all the zombies now move, and then we're going to spawn after that. All right, it's zombie movement time. Well, of course, this zombie in here with uh, Glinda and Anne is going to attack someone. It's going to attack uh, our tough Glinda here. She ignores the first damage from the zombie, so we're not going to take any damage. And, of course, this runner is going to go 1-2 in here. Let's hope runners don't activate again, uh, because no more negation of damage. We have a... One walker here is going to go here. These two walkers are going to come down here. And this walker is going to come here. And that's it. That's it for zombie movements. Now it is spawn time. We're going to start over here. We've got two uh, spawn zones over here. So one, two, and then two at the top. Three, four. Let's get to spawning. And that will end off our episode for today. So let's see what spawns. Like I said, let's hope we don't get runners activated again. We're going to be in big trouble. All right, spawn point one here, and what do we have? We have a lovely fatty showing up there. Okay, well, this is the first fatty we've had, so that's okay. So we have one fatty there. Up uh, at the next spawn point, which is right here. Well, let's see what else we get. We end up there with nothing in sight. That is good news. And we have two other spawn points at the top of the board. And the two spawn points at the top of the board. Let's see, the first one right here, we get one Deadeye Walker. Okay, that's the first time we've seen the Deadeye Walker showing up. Of course, they get a, a range of three for shooting, but he's a long ways off. And over here, our final spawn point, right next to their exit, um, we get three Deadeye Walkers. Okay, so the, the archery crew is starting to show up quite a long ways away. So we're not absolutely worried about them just yet. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to zoom right out, and we're going to wrap up our episode for today. And it's very difficult to get the entire thing uh, in camera. I can't do it, so we're not going to bother. So this is uh, Dead Trail Quest number seven. We got Baldrick, Nelly, Anne. We got Miser, and we have Glinda, and we're trying to uh, get into those vaults and get both of those. Uh, artifacts uh, and we're also trying to take all six objectives all the way around the board 
and it's probably going to be uh, difficult. <laughs> it is. So up, up first in the next episode will be Baldrick. Uh, he will be starting us off, and uh, then it will be Anne, Miser, Glinda finishing off with Nelly. So thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, likes. Once again, Zombicide, Black Play, Quest 7, Dead Trail with Baldrick's Bumbling Band. We'll see how they do in the next episode. So thanks so much, and we'll see you then.